On today's The Doctor is in, toxic trespassers that lurk in some of the products we use every day. Concern over the safety of items such as water bottles and shampoo have spurred a wide-ranging research effort into predicting the health risks of tens of thousands of chemicals. Dr. Scott Ackerman, one of the First Coast's leading doctors, is joining us today with what you need to know to keep yourself and your chemical-free lifestyle as chemical-free as possible. That's right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Ackerman, for being. We are all listening about this uh, and talking about this this morning. But first of all, what potential chemicals do we need to be aware of? And then we'll talk about trying to limit these from our daily lifestyles. Well, there's lots of chemicals in the environment, and over the years, a lot of the uh, toxic chemicals that we've been exposed to have been eliminated for various reasons. But there's two I want to speak about specifically today. Okay. The first one is BPA. <clears throat> uh, uh, the real name is, is bisphenol A, BPA. And the second one is parabens. And there's lots of different kinds of parabens. And the reason I want to talk about BPA and parabens is because these two are, although they're used in different kinds of products, they're similar in that they both alter how our body interacts with estrogen. And you know me as an oncologist, I talk about estrogen a lot related to breast cancer or endometrial cancer. We know estrogen has relationship with those kinds of cancers. So if there's a chemical that we're ingesting that alters the way our body interacts with estrogens, it could be associated with a higher risk of developing those kind of cancers that are estrogen related, like breast cancer or endometrial cancer. So let's talk about these two, and we'll start with BPA, because this is something that you know you see especially on baby, pro baby products and, and bottles, and it does not contain BPA. What products contain BPA that we need to be aware of? Well, BPA is an industrial chemical that's used in plastics and resins that gives them their, their firmness and keeps them stable. It was historically used in water bottles, in the lining of tin cans, Believe it or not, cash register receipts are kind of plastic coated. That's BPA on the, on the cash register receipt. It used to be used in baby bottles, but now regulations prohibit it. And what happens is, in a plastic bottle or the lining of a can, if, you, if that bottle or can gets hot and is heated, um, intentionally or unintentionally, the BPA can seep into the food. So in a water bottle, if it's sitting in your car and the car gets hot from the sun, the BPA can seep into the water and then you ingest it. If you take a can of beans and you put it in a pot of boiling water to heat up the can, that yeah. BPA can seep into the beans and cause a problem. Even in, in certain canned foods that have uh, foods in them that are highly acidic, like tomato sauce, the, the chemicals from the tomatoes can interact with the BPA and release the BPA, interact with the plastic lining that has BPA in it and have the BPA s uh, seep into those foods. Okay, so we're gonna look <laughs> at some of those products in a second, but let's talk about the other ones, the parabens. What, so, what, are, what uh, uh, items have parabens in them? So parabens, it's plural, it's a whole okay. family of things, propyl paraben, methyl paraben, those sort of things. Parabens are preservatives that are used in cosmetics. We use them in creams and lotions and makeup and shampoo, and they're put in there to keep the products uh, uh, sterile and keep the uh, bacteria from growing within the products. It's different than BPA. With BPA, you're ingesting a food that has the BPA in it. The parabens are absorbed through the skin. So you put the lotion on your face and that uh, uh, BPA then gets absorbed uh, through your skin uh, into your body. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm watching this lady put on her makeup and I'm thinking I just did that a little while ago. All right, so this leads to the next logical question and should be, uh, or is, should we be trying to limit these chemicals, uh, either consuming them or the makeup? Should we be looking for parabens? Should we be looking for products that have BPA and trying to limit them entirely from our lifestyle? Well, it's hard to, to limit them entirely. The FDA deems both the BPA and parabens safe in small amounts. But there's st ongoing studies that are finding a link between these chemicals and breast cancer. I personally think the chemicals are safe in small amounts and moderation. But, you know, you're putting on makeup every day. Right, like death by 10,000 cuts. I mean, exactly. if everything you're using has a little bit of a BPA or a little bit of parabens, after a while, it's just this one big thing. Right, it eventually adds up. So you, so I recommend, especially my patients with, with a history of breast cancer, endometrial cancer, to try to minimize exposure to these parabens and BPAs. So use BPA-free cans. So I have some cans here. So this can has um, uh, beans in them. So instead of can, uh, beans in a can, maybe get beans that are in a bag, you know, or uh, that, that come, you know, dry beans. Mm -hmm. uh, this can here actually says on it, BPA free, right there on the, on, on, so on, on the, on the label. Uh, Old-fashioned water bottles, um, 
especially ones, well, the old fashioned water bottles, they have BPA in them. And so if the water bottle sits in the car, the BPA will seep Why into the, the water. Why is the BPA, what was the purpose of having BPA it, again? It's a chemical stabilizer okay. that's used in the manufacturing of resins. Okay. Yeah. And, and so now there's these new water bottles, and they all say it on there. You'll see it everywhere you go. BPA. You'll see it BPA free yeah. on the water bottle. So if, if the liquid were to get hot in this, if you were to leave it in your car, Perfectly you're safe. fine. Perfectly and that's safe. why you see baby bottles now and all these different baby um, whatnot, pieces of plastic that have BPA free. Correct. Because it's been regulated and mandated. Correct. And on cosmetics, this is some moisturizing cream. And on the back here it says, I left my glass over there, it says phenyl uh, uh, paraben. Yeah, phenyl. And it has methyl paraben. Okay. So that's what you have to look for. Not just, so the paraben, parabens, is a whole family okay. of drugs. Methyl paraben, Propyl paraben, all those. So if you see the word paraben or the words, the the, the letters yeah, paraben the within the word, yeah. exactly butyl paraben, benzyl paraben, all those. Look for them on the cosmetics and, and just try to limit try that. Try to avoid it. This one here actually says on it that it's paraben free. Paraben free. Right. Those are things that I I don't even look for right now. I wasn't looking for BPA free. And you, you will know, tomorrow. You're, you know, I'm gonna today when I do my grocery shopping and I'm looking for cans. I mean, I just you go through the canned food aisle and you just put cans. You don't even think about it. And what was interesting, you brought up a great point. Uh, before we started the segment was that and I said well maybe those cans don't get hot because they're sitting in a store room temperature they're not getting to the point where the BPA could be absorbed into the product and you said well what about being on the bed of a truck yeah how they get to the store yeah exactly right. you don't even think about that you it's no hot idea. out it's hot out and there you go Thanks again, Dr. Ackerman. No, we always appreciate your advice. Have a good weekend. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Great. I'm going to be cleaning out my cabinet when I get home. All right. And thanks again to Dr. Ackerman, of course, for coming on and all the great advice. As always, you can reach out to Dr. Ackerman if you have any questions regarding today's topic or any other health questions that you might have. You can connect with Dr. Ackerman on Facebook by visiting facebook.com forward slash first coast oncology.